The SAF mode of operation is unique and can neither be classified as step back nor crown down. This single file shapes, cleans, and disinfects the entire length of the root canal simultaneously. To get used to this concept, adopt the system gradually into your clinical routine. Start from simple, more accessible teeth with straight canals, then move to molars. Isolate the tooth using a rubber dam. Prepare standard axis cavity and determine your working length. Check for the first instrument to bind at working length. This canal was classified as a complex canal. A Nitai rotary file system was selected to prepare a tapered glide path. Information regarding additional glide path options can be found in the SAF System Clinical Guidelines Manual. Verify the adequacy of the glide path by inserting the SAF manually to working length. Most of the canal shaping is accomplished during the first two minutes of operation. Completing the full, 4-minute cycle allows the irrigant to thoroughly clean and disinfect the canal. Final apical dimension was gauged using a standardized gutta-percha master cone prior to obturation. With the SAF, the final canal shape remains consistent with its original anatomy. Research shows that the SAF mode of operation results in an exceptionally clean and smooth root canal wall surface, even in oval and irregular shaped canals. This facilitates better adaptation of the root canal filling material. Higher percentage of gutta percha filled area and markedly superior root-filling push-out bond strength.
The combination technique of obturation, demonstrated here by Dr. Solomonov, combines lateral cold compaction in the apical region with vertical warm condensation in the middle and coronal parts of the canal. This technique allows for better control of the apical region, avoiding excessive sealer extrusion. Information regarding how other common obturation techniques work after SAF preparation can be found in the SAF System Clinical Guidelines Manual.